Hi, I'm Joost from BiteMyBound.com and today I'll explain dashi versus anchovy broth. Now one thing you may notice is that among Asian cultures there are often ingredients and recipes that are very similar. This is especially the case with dashi for Japanese and anchovy broth for Korean cuisine. And while they're very similar, they also have several major differences that I'll explain in detail. Now, dashi and anchovy broth have many of the same ingredients, though anchovy broth uses entire anchovies as opposed to just flakes of a fish like dashi does. And as a result, anchovy broth has a much fishier taste to it. And one major difference in the making of anchovy broth is that it sometimes has more ingredients than dashi. Rather than using kombu and fish flakes, anchovy broth also uses onion, garlic, dried mushrooms and even some radish. Now with these added ingredients you'll likely notice the difference in taste if you tried both dashi and anchovy stock at the same time. And dashi has many uses in Japanese dishes and is essentially the backbone of Japan's culinary culture. While it is most commonly used in miso soup, ramen and udon, dashi can also be used in sauces along with frying and battering meat and vegetables for tempura. Anchovy broth like dashi is often used for soups and stews in Korea and it's very versatile, used in many Korean recipes. Given all the similarities between the two ingredients, their uses and the region they both came from, it is unclear if there was any cross-cultural influence that resulted in their creation. Whether you use dashi or anchovy broth will depend on what recipe you're making. And usually Korean recipes will be better suited to anchovy broth and Japanese to dashi. Now, if you want to learn more about Japanese cuisine, click here for our free Japanese with Ease cookbook.